coming up here to discuss our season. You get asked to, to give a, a, a summary of this year. Uh, so on field, um, we started the season indifferent. Um, we won some games, we lost some games, but we... Uh, I've said it openly quite a few times, we, we were playing with both certain styles of play, we were playing with um, different combinations, different sides of the field, uh, and we we're trying to re-establish who we were. We, we, it's an interesting time after you win a couple of premierships, uh, you're trying to hold on to what you were, uh, and that's really dangerous, it doesn't work. Um, and we did that in 2020, and then 2021, we, uh, we had to hold on and fight as a club, and I really enjoyed the integrity of our team. And then we walk into 2022, a better team, but this was the year to re-establish who we were. And it took a while. Um, we lost some games, we won some games. We were in every game this year. Every single game we played, we, were, uh, we had a chance to win that game. And so that, that was a real positive. Some of those games, the harder games last year, we weren't, we weren't at the races. We weren't there to, to win them, uh, but we were valiant where that's, that changed this year. Um, we lost, I think it w may have been four in a row leading into one of the buys. I think the, maybe from around 11 to 15. But we started to get a little bit better around that period. We started to settle on our system a little bit more. Um, we lost the game to Penrith, um, but we knew who we were by that game. Um, we could see that uh, what kind of team we wanted to become. And then uh, coming out of that game, there was a fire in our belly. We were uncomfortable with, with how that game went um, and led by our captain, uh, decided on how we wanted to play uh, from that point on. And then we went into uh, re-establishing our, our identity as a team. And we did that um, game after game for, for eight rounds. And I'll probably circle back to that at the end about what, what were the, the, the highlights of this season. And so, uh, and then we arrive in the finals with some, with some uh, pace. We, we arrive there as a really dangerous team, not as high up the ladder as what we wanted to because of the start of the season. And then we had the ability to, to take it on uh, and we missed our mark. I think uh, everybody feels the same way. We, we missed our mark. We walked off that field and, and realised we didn't get it right. Um, and so you, you finish a season and you feel really proud of the season, but you also know that success is... Um, it's, it's hard to achieve, but that's what, we, that's what we strive for and that's what we um, expect at this club. And we missed our mark. And that's, um, that's important to feel that. It's not... Uh, there are no excuses for that. That's, uh, we understand uh, where we build ourselves into and we should have nailed that game and we didn't. Um, and so uh, we can't change that. We're out much earlier than what we, we were. Um, and so reflecting on that, so what are the points that, that you take out of 2022? And I'll, um, we re-established our, uh, our identity as a team. We definitely saw who the Sydney Roosters were. Um, that, um, that's been swirling around, we've been talking about it, we've been trying to hang on, but we know who we are. And that was a big year for, uh, for the Sydney Roosters and set a foundation for the next couple of years. Um, as James said, we're really clear on, um, we're really excited already for 2023. We've got to hold our cool a bit. There's a World Cup to play. Uh, there's a breath to take, but we also know uh, how we're going to play already in season 2023. Um, so I'm really proud of that. Um, the, 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 the DNA that we talk about, um, it's been established on the field, it's been um, adapted to a new style of uh, football in the, um, over the last couple of years, but it's also um, brought on some younger players uh, and we'll be ready to go. The other thing that um, is really proud for, for 2023, uh, for 2022, was also um, the establishing of, uh, of us as a club. Okay, so uh, we get to move into the stadium, we get to move underneath um, the facility here into the best facilities that we've ever had uh, and the best facilities in the game. And the establishment of a club through the academy, through the women's team winning this year, 
through um, the way that we played on the field and, and as a club, and then commercially off the field, um, we are very, very clear on who we are as a club. And so um, the disappointment of finishing first week of the finals, which you know, for, for, for us, we understand is unacceptable, a lot of teams would search for lots of different areas that went wrong. It was really clear uh, to us that there's not many areas in our club. Our club is um, on the right path. It's set up for success and even the calmness of this week, I could see teams turn themselves inside out and fall apart uh, on the back of um, shock losses that they don't want to have. Whereas I feel like our identity as a club and our identity as a team has been set uh, and now it's for us to be successful in 2023. It's up to us on the field. Everything else has been set up in the right place. Um, and now um, uh, it's time when we come back in 2023 to, to get the job done. So.